Niall, isn't life strange? For 20 years, we despised each other. I mean, every time I looked into those revolting eyes, I wanted to wretch, sweetie. Dip me. Plain tomato juice, don't you have anything hard? Not for you. <laughs> Niles, my eggs are all dried up. The gene pool is saved. Well, I think it's very distasteful of Maxwell to be dating so soon. Isn't a decade the standard period of mourning? Die and let's find out. Perhaps what you smell in your apartment was the stench of your decaying youth. You know, Niles, I learned something at the place. <laughs> If 220 volts of electricity can't hurt me, 300 pounds of butler sure can't. Oh, are you happy to have your little friend home? No, it's all right. <laughs> Maxwell, darling, is that you? <laughs> Tell me what you want me to do. <laughs> Clap like a chicken. <laughs> what? It turns me on. Mr. Sheffield's been delayed. Did you think I was him? <laughs> if you tell anyone about this... Oh, I'd never do that. We need the eggs. Niles, I don't make it a habit of drinking with the help. I've never been any help to you. <laughs> exactly. So tell me, Rochester. <laughs> what'd you do to kill a day before I came along? Well, truth be told, my life was a little empty. But now I have a hobby. <laughs> I loathe you. I despise you. Servant. Trollop. <laughs> Bellboy. Brunette. <laughs> Good night, Maxwell, Fanny Nine. Chicken. <laughs> Good night, people. Miss Babcock. Oh, thank you, Niles, but you know I'm not supposed to <laughs> do that. How many times have you not done that tonight? About eight. <laughs> Oh, Niles, now that Maxwell's taken, my life is over. Oh, Miss Babcock, you always underestimate yourself. You have a lot to offer a man. You're witty, you're sophisticated, you're beautiful, you're sexy. How many times have you done that tonight? About 12. <laughs> Dancing, please. 
Okay, butler boy. <laughs> I had so much to drink at the reception. I had the strangest nightmare that Santa Claus was trying to have his way with me. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> we didn't, did we? Well, I'm not sure. Say ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, yes, good afternoon. I'm calling about your ad for the 93 BMW. Yes, well, the car sounds wonderful. Oh, you think I sound sexy, eh? <laughs> well, I've got wavy black hair, <laughs> hazel eyes. Oh, I'm about six foot two. What about you? I'm a petite strawberry blonde. <laughs> oh, I like moonlight, Burt Backrack, and leather. <laughs> Yes, I'm alone. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> and it'll really turn you on? <laughs> I'm Popeye the Sailor. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm strong to the finish. Cause I eat me spinach. I pop by the sailor man. Why would a woman go to such lengths to have a baby? You know, in fact, I was thinking about having one of those operations, but then I thought, mm, what if I marry a wealthy man who insists I produce an heir? Oh, stop deluding yourself. Go ahead and have the vasectomy. <laughs> a good comeback, but don't you have to go wash your boss's underwear? <laughs> mm. You know, Nanny Fine may not know how to work an oven, but she knows how to get good takeout. These cookies are delicious. <laughs> mm. well, they are pretty good, aren't they? <laughs> In fact, they're not bad at all. Niles, is that a new apron you're wearing? Oh, forget it. What was I thinking? She's only ever going to think of me as just a domestic. Who? Oh, uh, no one. Niles, are you doing all this to impress a woman? Well, maybe. A little. Sort of. Kind of. Maybe. A little. Sorta. Kinda. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just dreaming. There's no way that she would ever consider me. Oh, no. You're not still writing to Petula Clark, are you? Oh, no, 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 no. This, this isn't an infatuation. No, this is deep. I think, I think this might really be it. Well, have you told her how you feel? Oh, God, no. Well, you're gonna let her know. I mean, what woman wouldn't be thrilled to have you in her life? Oh. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> I love the smell of nair that lingers when she leaves a room. <laughs> Who are you? Are you telling me that all those years that you put dishwater in her coffee and changed her lip balm for glue stick and called her a cow, you were flirting? What, no good? <laughs> you're a successful producer and you're standing over here. Mm -hmm. There's Miss Backpot, the woman that you love over there. Not good. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, God, I don't know what to say. I, I'm as giddy as a schoolgirl. <laughs> yeah, well, don't open with that. Miles, listen to me. I'm your friend and I love you. Don't spend the rest of your life wondering. Carpe diem. Miss Babcock? Well, I gotta admit, you surprised me tonight. You finally pulled off something bigger than your shorts. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, yeah? Well, you... You're a... You walk like a... Marry me. I was just proposed to by the most bloated, pathetic, domestic excuse for a man. <laughs> oh, what you say? <laughs> well, it's always been a dream of mine to give up my Park Avenue penthouse and move into his room. Oh, no. You turned him down because he's not rich? Miss Babcock, why do you always think with your head? What does your heart say? Don't marry a maid. <laughs> well, what does your liver say? Does that at least say, can the maid take me out for a drink? Nanny Martin, what is this sudden interest in my love life? Did I interfere with you and Maxwell? Did I push you two together? No, you tried to push me in front of a bus. Once, and I apologized. <laughs> now, I have to go find Yetta and tell her about this. Why? Why Yetta? Because she forgets. And I can tell her over and over and over again. <laughs> I cannot believe you are actually enjoying seeing this man in pain. I live for moments like this. <laughs> I mean, he exposed his deepest feelings right out there in public where I could crush him. <laughs> what would compel him to do something like that? I have no idea. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, sir, but this is the ladies' room. Thank you very much for your advice. Do you have any idea what a fool I made of myself? Yeah, I heard. But, you know, just for the record, I told you to express your feelings. I did. I asked Miss Babcock to marry me. Well, in the future, may I suggest that before you propose to a woman, you start calling her by her first name? <laughs> What happened, happened. But it's just between the four of us. Nobody else ever has to know. I promise I will never tell another soul. Will you marry me? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I pressed it by accident. That's it. I am out of here. She is never going to let this go. An elephant never forgets. Oh, please, you used that pathetic line on me three years ago. See? <laughs> Maxwell, I cannot do this. Niles, I'm sorry you're quitting, but I'm sure you have a career to fall back on, you know, in case this dream didn't pan out. Well, whatever I have to fall back on isn't half as big as what you have to fall back on. I don't think this is going very well. No. No, honey, this is going great. This is their natural habitat. We're the strangers. Just don't use a flash. It startles them. They could charge. <laughs> Me marry you, please. You are a pathetic excuse for a man. Ditto. <laughs> but at least I know when it's time to move on. You are going to spend the rest of your life pining for a man who doesn't love you and who's married a woman half your age. Oh, Niles, please don't go. <laughs> Look around you. They're married. They're starting a family. Where are you going to be 10, 20 years from now? You're going to be saying Merry Christmas to your friends in rehab and wondering what might have been. I'll be leaving first thing in the morning, sir. Oh. My God, he's right. The best years of my life are gone. And they sucked. <laughs> I have always stayed too long at the fair. Well, not this time. I have to move on. Maxwell, my resignation will be on your desk in the morning. You know, he's a very heavy sleeper. Sometimes three, four in the morning, I'll ring him up for a diet soda. I get no answer. <laughs> Niles and Miss Babcock are having an affair. Uh, with who? With each other. So where are they now? Wow, he was called out of town for this big family reunion in London, and she said she'd take him to the airport uh -huh. in the limo uh -huh. in the back because all of a sudden she was in need of duty-free lair du temps. Mm. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Miss Babcock. Um, 
Miss Babcock, did Niles get off okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> oh, Nanny Fine, would you please tell Maxwell that there's a crack in the privacy glass of the limo? It looks to me like someone's heel went through it. <laughs> Did you hear about Miss Babcock and the male maid? What are you talking about? Well, Franny and her husband walked in on them when they were doing the horizontal horror. Where? Kitchen, closet, stairway, limo, Walmart? Walmart, huh? Well, if they dig the danger of getting caught, they should try the aluminum sheds at Home Depot. Well, uh, I'm feeling a little tired. I, um, uh, I think I'll retire. Congratulations again, sir. Thank you. Well, I've had a long day, too, and I have all that publicity to get rolling tomorrow. I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Bye. Miles, this is it. My worst fears are being realized. He's gonna wind up in the arms of a sexy, blue-eyed blonde. All right, so the psychic was right about Val, but you have nothing to worry about. He's not going to be with some sexy, blue-eyed blonde in Beverly Hills. He's gonna be with... Maxwell, did you get my carry-on? <laughs> yes, let go. Very fine. You have nothing to worry about. I found my man, and I am completely and totally and multiply satisfied. <laughs> really? That is the joy of being with a man who lives to serve others, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Niles, isn't life strange? For 20 years, we despised each other. I mean, every time I looked into those revolting eyes, I wanted to wretch Sweetie. Dip me. Grandpa, I was thinking, I... I know I shouldn't have asked you to marry me when I did. We weren't ready. That's why I laughed in your face, lover. <laughs> but, uh, I think we're ready now. Will you marry me? to ruin everything. What the hell does he want to marry me for? Because he loves you. And why don't you want to marry Niles? Do you have any idea how wonderful he is? You know, it's not so easy finding a guy like him. The man irons rags. Get out of there! Niles! Miss Babcock? <gasps> yes, it's Niles. I have an answer to your question. I thought long and hard about it, and my answer is... <laughs> What I said was... Are you all right? Of course she's fine. Miss Babcock, could you say it one more time? Niles, I would love to marry you. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Before I said yes to Niles, after I said yes to Niles, what if this feeling never stops? Think how thin you'll be. <laughs> I'm just not sure I'm making the right decision. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was another contraction. <laughs> you see, I'm over here having twins, and I happen to be in excruciating pain, but please keep talking about yourself. <laughs> Well, I mean, I really do love Niles, and I can't wait to marry him. Because well, I cannot live with this nausea another moment. Okay, there are your wedding vows. Maybe we should just elope and get this whole damn wedding thing over with. And there are your announcements. But you listen to me, as soon as you say I do, your angst will disappear. We can't get married without you and Maxwell there. And the children, I mean, you know how close I am to them. Who? Oh. Macy, Bob, and Nancy? Yes. I want you all there. 
Shh, I'm trying to think here. Oh, Nanny Fine, I am sorry. I am being so inconsiderate. Oh, well, you know what? I am done talking about me. The rest of the day is about you, you, you. I don't care how nauseous I am. I am not going to steal your thunder for one more moment. We are gathered here today to bring together two people in the bonds of holy matrimony. Come on, this is insane. Her contractions are only two minutes apart. Yeah, well, I'm dehydrating here. Move it along, Padre. Uh, Cece and Niles have asked to express their love for one another in their own words. Oh, I... Funny that's the same sound I made the first time I saw you. I remember it perfectly. The year was 1962, and four young hopefuls from Liverpool were just about... Step to the lady! Did they come out yet? Stanley, where's Morty already? He's waiting for my parking space. Uncle Stanley, why didn't you give him your space? He's my father. He should be here. What am I, chopped liver? <laughs> Just breathe, just breathe, darling. Visualize, oh. visualize mountains, visualize the ocean, a, a swaying it's palm tree. It's not working, it's not working. All right, well, how about Lomans? You're alone in the store with your own face gun. Uh. I'm dying here, Monsignor. Do you, Niles, take Chastity Claire to be your lawfully wedded wife? Chastity Claire? Oh, that's a beautiful name. Oakley Dunkley, we're about to have two more guests at the wedding. Say, I do. I do. Push. And do you test me, Claire? Take I do, I do. I do. I do. the results of your test and everything's all right. Oh, I know. I feel much better. We figured out what was causing my noise. Well, your intuition was right. Congratulations. You're pregnant. Uh, from now on, stay out of my luggage. I don't like my underwear ironed and folded. I'm sorry, but when I got a load of the size of them, I thought they were mine. Listen to us. Married and a baby on the way. I think it's really softened us. 